Welcome to the Licinia Mushroom Cultivation Course Part 2. This section is dedicated to spores. If you visited one of our retreats, you are probably interested in mushroom cultivation for the purpose of pain management. The active ingredient in psychedelic mushrooms that you're going to be interested in is called psilocybin. The species that contain this compound are part of the genus Psilocybe, and the techniques that we cover in these videos apply best to the species Psilocybe cubensis. This is the most commonly cultivated type of psychedelic mushroom. Psilocybin is the compound drawing so much attention in the treatment of things like depression, cluster headache, migraine, neuropathic pain, cancer pain, and phantom limb pain. The spores are legal to purchase in every state except for California, Idaho, and Georgia because the spores do not contain psilocybin. They come in a syringe like this, suspended in distilled water. They will not germinate, maintaining their legal status until exposed to a food source. Spore sellers avoid any mention of cultivating. They do not sell cultivating supplies and they usually mark their syringes clearly as intended for microscopy use only. That being said, most of them are extremely nice and helpful and approach this as a hobby. The question that I usually get is, why are there so many names? B+, Z-Strain, Golden Teacher, Ecuador, Penis Envy, Albino Penis Envy. Which one is Cubensis? The answer is that they are all Cubensis. These are all just slight variations of Cubensis and all contain psilocybin. Except for the color, most of these are pretty much identical, except for the Penis Envy mutation. Most connoisseurs agree that the Penis Envies have a bit more psilocybin per weight. They are also a bit slow growing and they don't drop so many spores, so I don't recommend them as something to start out growing. I like to think of them as the English Bulldogs of the mushroom growing world. They are mutated to the point that they are incapable of surviving in the wild, so I would recommend starting with anyone other than the Penis Envy. They're also pretty funny looking too. If you are planning to grow gourmet mushrooms, then you should not order spores. Spores are a bit slow growing and it's sort of a genetic roulette game as to whether you're going to get a good batch. Vendors selling cubensis can't sell live mycelium, but if you want to grow lion's mane or oyster mushrooms, you can skip a few steps and buy liquid culture. A liquid culture contains cloned mycelium of an already proven hardy and well-formed lime. It comes in a syringe, just like these spores, but it is a cloudy liquid full of live cells. Here is a, some liquid culture. That's live mycelium suspended in that liquid. When you order spores, the spores arrive in a syringe just like this one here. This one has a particularly large visible clump of spores, but not all will have visible spores. That doesn't mean that there's something wrong with them. Spores are microscopic and I use syringes without visible clumps all the time with no problems. The vendor will ship them to you with a sealed needle just like this and they can be stored in a cool dark place to a couple of years at a time. Please subscribe to follow for more videos and until next time.